Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be, and I have to make sure for legal purposes I state this, for entertainment purposes only. Okay, these are not facts. It's just going based on um, our own thoughts, feelings, um, articles we've read over the years, information that's already out there in the internet, you know, our own common sense of things. So... This is not by any means factual. It is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so having said that, this reading is going to be based on Kurt Cobain, okay, and his death. So I'm a huge Nirvana fan. I remember um, in 94 when he passed away, being in my car and actually like hearing the news that he was found dead on the radio and I just like broke out into tears. And I, I'm, I don't do that, but like I'm a huge fan. So I was like, oh my God. Okay, so this this reading has always um, been one that I wanted to do because it really like hits home for me because like I said, I am a really big Kurt Cobain fan and I feel bad for the whole situation and just, you know, it's fucked up. Okay, and having said that, you know, I, I did like uh, Courtney Love's music when she was with Hole and everything. You know, I don't know if she's still doing things currently. I believe not, but, you know, don't quote me. I'm not doing a whole thing following them over the years. This is just based on Kurt Cobain's death. Okay. So having said that, I have like some notes that I just wanted to take here so I don't leave anything out or like misinform. Okay. So there's also uh, a young lady named Kristen Pfaff. I believe I'm saying that right. P-F-A-F-F. -F. Okay. Now she was in Hole's Band. Okay. Now I'm not going to get too much into her life story. But she kind of has a play in in this because uh, that there's a lot of rumors, a lot of hearsay, you know, and you just take what you want with it and and just figure it out for yourself, create your own theory, okay? But again, it's theory. There's no facts here. Uh, entertainment purposes only. Okay, so Kurt Cobain died on April fifth, nineteen ninety four, and then just two months later, Kristen Pfaff died on June sixteenth, nineteen ninety four. Now, Courtney was considered a suspect in both deaths, so even though they were portrayed and claimed as suicides, there is some evidence and you know just common sense that points that they were murdered due to her involvement okay so there's a, a lot of a lot of suspicion surrounding her involvement between the two okay so if you're watching this you are already a Kurt Cobain fan I'm sure you're already aware of all of the theories and everything the um the private detective that Courtney hired and you know that whole story I'm sure you guys have seen bleached and all that so if you have it please do so so you can then be caught up because I'm not I'm not going to do like an hour long thing um but with Kristen Pfaff there's a lot of rumors going on there okay I, I've come across some rumors that um Kurt, Kurt Cobain was actually going to divorce Courtney Love and when she caught wind of this she decided to have him killed okay um so with Kurt it's like you know okay he OD'd but like with the amount of drugs they found in his system there's no way he could have pulled the trigger and his prints weren't even on the gun so you know come on now doesn't make sense okay um also my biggest thing is you know if you have somebody 
you know, looking for your husband, why aren't you with your daughter? Like, she was being babysat by somebody else and you're off in like another state like why aren't you with your kid if you're concerned about the whereabouts of your husband just that for me is like a what the fuck you know so anyway um so with Kristen Pfaff there's the rumor that um they her and Kurt were very close friends and they may have been smitten with one another and you know with Courtney and no 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 I want to be the center center of attention I'm the one running shit I'm the HBIC and that's that. So, no, if you think you're going to leave me and hook up with this person, no, bitch, I'm going to kill you first, you know? And that's like, okay. Um, also, it's been rumored that back in, like, the 90s, she was very crazy and everybody's doing drugs and stuff, you know, being um, famous, you know, she was willing to throw some money around to, you know, pay some people to do some things. You, you I'm sure you saw about that guy that um, supposedly said that she was going around and asking people to kill Kurt for like 50000 And then he ended up dead not too long after that little interview he did. Okay, so Kristen Pfaff, I'm actually going to put the article uh, link down below in the description box. So if you're not familiar with her, you can actually read the article there. But it's very interesting because um, in that article, it states how she was leaving Hole and going back to a previous band. And she was like already packing up her things and like making moves and stuff. And she, according to her mother that she had, you know, a close relationship with, she wasn't heavy into drugs or anything like that. Her mother feels it was like peer pressure from being, you know, in that kind of scene. And a lot of people around her, including family members, you know, she had gone into rehab. She came out. She was happy. She was in a good place. I mean, she was depressed that Kurt Cobain had, you know, committed suicide um, but she was still, you know, doing her best. All of a sudden she ends up dead and then there's, you know, hearsay and like, I don't want to say evidence, but there's, there's just, you know, things around that, you know, portray that, um, Courtney Love may have been involved. Okay. Also Courtney Love's, um, attorney, which was a female, at the time, I don't know if that's still her attorney, but she's also the godmother of uh, Francis Bean. She had even said, like, there's some suspicion going on here. Like, she's not buying it that Kurt killed himself. So there's just a lot going on with that. So um, let's see. Um, okay. All right. So I mentioned this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not accusing anyone of anything, and you are free to form your own hypothesis. Okay, so I put, uh, I mentioned that, I mentioned that. Oh, also, um, it's also said by Eric Erlandson, which was Hull's former guitarist. Um, he wrote a book called Letters to Kurt. And um, he actually had said that he had a romantic relationship with Courtney Love before she married Kurt. And, um, and then, you know, after she married Kurt and all that, he later started dating Kristen Pfaff because they were in the band Hull together. So... You know, since Courtney Love is known to be the center of attention, I want to be the center of attention. Perhaps she felt threatened by Kristen. Who knows? Read that article on Kristen Pfaff that I'm going to put in the description box down below. And like I said, you can form your own opinion and so on and so forth. So the reading I'm doing today is just to see for entertainment purposes only because no one is doing me. Sorry. Let's see. Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Please give me clear and concise messages. Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Please give me clear and concise messages. Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay, destruction of others by the swords. Interesting. Let's keep going. Okay, was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay, let's see. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups, 
Justice, interesting, and Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so I, I'm definitely seeing here, okay, so with the, the Five of Swords, destruction of others. Okay, so I'm feeling this was either Kurt's energy to decide to divorce Courtney, to take that road, because with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is change for the better ending of a cycle. So if he's decided like, okay, I'm going to end things, you know, he thought about it. And then we have justice, which this is, it could be, um, filing for divorce. Okay. So this is like the legal documents, divorce. So he may have had his attorney that, that woman I had mentioned, um, getting the paperwork together or, or just having the conversation with her. Like, yeah, this is what I want to do. And with Nine of Swords here, we have anxiety and inner suffering. Okay. So another way to look at this is, okay, so we have here Kurt making plans to move forward to divorce Courtney. Okay. Or this could be somebody saying, okay, destruction of others. Like, oh, you want to change things? You want to end things? Well... Somebody's in deep thought because they want to balance things out. They're um, feeling despair here and anxiety about this divorce. So if this is Courtney, like, oh, uh, I don't want you divorcing me because then, you know, I'm not going to have this power or anything because I'm not with Kurt. And the reality is, you know, Nirvana was definitely more popular than Hole. So... I mean, Kurt Cobain to this day, he's been dead for how long? And he's still an, an icon, you know, where it's like Hole had some great music back then, but there's no comparison between the two in all reality. Okay. Um, so I'm seeing here, it's either him moving forward, making those plans, deciding in his mind that he wants to go forward with the divorce. Or this is her saying like, okay, no, we're going to duke it out here because she's worried about this divorce. She's worried about, okay, well, what if he's going to be with somebody else, you know, and then they're going to have like that power couple status and oh, hell no, like this is my life. This is my world. That's not happening. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. So can you please give us some more information? Was Kurt murdered? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Can you please give us some more details? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay, so we have the magician here. This is somebody sleight of hand, making things happen, taking action. Oh my God. Okay, King of Cups here. So this is a water sign person. This is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, okay? So Kurt Cobain was a Pisces. Courtney Love is a Cancer. So those are both water signs. And then Kristen Pfaff is actually, she was a Gemini, which is a uh, air sign. So definitely seeing here that he was making moves, taking action. Okay, so this is, is telling me more. This is veering towards him going down that path of filing for divorce. Okay. What other messages was Kurt Cobain murdered? So we're getting a story here, folks. Okay, it's trying to be strong while he's moving forward. Okay, now we have a sneaky attempt being made here. So he, he may have been trying to... Um, Keep it quiet, make moves quietly, 
maybe even keeping certain things from Courtney because he knew that, you know, she'd like throw a shit fit because, you know, if you, if you look at Courtney back in the 90s, she was a little crazy, you know, um, like ticking time bomb. And there's a lot of people that were afraid of her for that reason. They were terrified because they were like, this bitch is crazy. Like, she'll fucking try and kill people and, you know, just do all kinds of crazy shit. Like, she had no fear. She had money. She was on drugs. So it was like, fuck it, you know. Um, also, recently, if you look up, um, not recent, recent, but like more recent than the death of Kurt Cobain and Kristen Pfaff, um, Francis Bean, she was married to a guy that was a huge fan of Kurt and like tried to mimic him. And so they ended up, she got married, they were getting divorced and he had, I believe it was one of Kurt's guitars. And so the family was trying to get it back. And another rumor, according to Francis Bean's ex-husband was that Courtney tried to have him killed so because she wanted the guitar back so it's just that's three times now that it's rumored you try to kill somebody like that's way too many under your belt like you know some of it's got to be true again my opinion entertainment purposes only you form your own opinion okay so we see here um that it's portraying that uh, Kurt was looking to get a divorce and he was really stressed out about it, but he wanted to take that action, make things happen. All right. So, um, again, water sign energy. He was a Pisces trying to stay strong. Now this is interesting also because this is a Leo, Leo energy and Francis Bean is a Leo. So I feel this is something positive he was trying to do for his daughter as well. You know, if he felt that she was not in a very good atmosphere and he was trying to change things up so she can, you know, grow up happy and um, just in a better atmosphere. I feel some of the reason why he was doing this and trying to be strong was for his daughter. Okay. But he had to be a little sneaky about it because, you know, if he just came out right and told her, you know, she's batshit crazy, you got to worry. You know, and that's here, anxiety, inner suffering. You know, what what is she going to do? You know, she's going to flip out. You know, I, I don't know how to go about this. So I feel he was very, very nervous in making this decision. But he was trying to do what's best for him and Francis at this point. So he had to, like, try and be a little quiet and, you know, sleight of hands, a little sneaking around with what he was trying to do. Because I feel he also did not want to have this all in the media. So it, 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 it makes sense why he had a lot of anxiety and inner suffering here and he was in his head a lot because it's like, well, how do I go about doing this while I'm trying to be strong and shield a lot? Okay. So, all right, this Kurt Cobain kills. Which, you know, this alone, if you're trying to do all of this, it's like, why would you kill yourself? Why would you put certain things in motion if you're just not going to be around. That that to me does not make sense. Okay, so can you please give us some more details? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay. All right, so we have the Five of Cups here. Disappointment, regret, frustration, at a loss. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people, oh yeah, he looked depressed and this and that. He was in a bad place. You know, when you have to make some kind of life decision like this and, you, and you're in the public eye like he was, um, it's not easy. To, it's a major burden to have just for somebody that's like everyday Joe Schmo to have to, you know, go through a divorce and deal with this. And, oh, you know, the person that I'm divorcing, you know, what if they're going to try and take everything or make things public and just, you know, just like I said, as Joe Schmo, it's something hard to deal with. And when you when you're Kurt Cobain and you're trying to deal with this, I mean, it it's like ten times more stressful. Okay, so I see here Five of Cups. He's just got a lot of regret and disappointment. He's very frustrated. Okay, and then we have here the Six of Pentacles. So this is um, sharing um, material gain. Um, this could be giving money, you know, so he may have been stressed about like losing a lot of money to Courtney 
in this situation, which could be why he was trying to do things, you know, um, I don't want to say, I don't want to say so much like sneaky, but like he was just trying to do things quietly to figure out like, what are my best options here? You know, where like, I'm not going to be completely broke, you know, but let's see. Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay, so with the Five of Pentacles here, this is somebody feeling like they're on the outside looking in. So if you look at this card also, you see this woman with the child. Maybe he felt that Courtney would have taken Francis. I mean, because they did have uh, drug issues and stuff like that. Maybe she had an upper hand on him where, you know, she threatened, if you leave me, I'm going to take the kid, you know. I mean, we don't know behind the scenes exactly what happened. It's just hearsay, you know. So let's see. I see he was concerned about not being with his daughter. Okay, then we have judgment here. So this is, um, this is having like, um, this could be an enlightenment, a spiritual awakening, things from the past coming back. So I feel like with, uh, drug use in the past, like that could be something that comes back to haunt him and he'll be judged for it. And that's why he may not get custody of his child. Okay, that we have the hermit here. So this is somebody that's just keeping to themselves, uh, doing things with careful thought and contemplation. Okay, let's quit picking murder. Okay. Okay, and then we have the emperor here. So this is somebody um, in power, in control, financial stability, somebody being um, a powerful uh, authority figure. So I feel this is him taking control back of his life. So where he may have been in a depressed state and he may have been really sad and trying to figure out, okay, how can I do this? But he's taking control towards the marriage. Okay. So he may have decided like, okay, you know what, regardless, I'm going to go through this divorce because we have the justice card here. Okay, so he's now taking control back towards the marriage. Okay, and we have the Queen of Swords here, which again, air sign. So this... This could be uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, interesting, like I said before, Gemini is actually the sign of Kristen Pfaff. So very interesting that she is now coming up in this reading. Okay. This could also be with him taking control back for his life with the higher offense. Now, this could be that he confided in her about his marriage since they were close friends. And perhaps nothing was going on between the two of them because there are no facts to state that, you know, again, it's just hearsay and rumors. So it could be he was just confiding in her and then maybe somebody misread that as, you know, a relationship. And then we have here temperance. So this is just healing, doing things in moderation, um, trying to balance emotions. This could also be um, just somebody being compatible with you so it could be perhaps he was starting to get feelings for her because they had a close friendship and he was confiding in her about the marriage and you know what he was planning on doing Okay, and then we have the world card here. And it's interesting because for some reason that, that song, Miss World, was always stuck in my head. And I know she recorded it before he died. Um, 
and released it before he died and all of that. But I don't, I don't know why that just that song to me is just unsettling. I feel like it's, I don't know, deeper meaning. Um, but anyway, here with the world, this is um, victory, success assured, um, completion. This could be a trip by air, a change of residence. Okay. So Kristen was looking to move. So this could also be him moving out since he was looking to divorce from the, um, from the marriage. So it could also be him talking to her about moving out and stuff like that. Yeah. 10 of wands. He's overwhelmed and burdened. Of course, this is very fucking stressful. I'm stressed just reading this. So let's see. I'm feeling that they were maybe both talking about getting away from Courtney, like where he was looking to divorce and she was looking to leave the bands and go back uh, with her old bands. So it's like with change of residence here, they were both looking to move on, but it was also overwhelming and, and burdening to have to deal with with all of that. So I feel like they had that in common. They were both like stressed in the same mindset. Okay, so then we have here the Ace of Wands. So this is a passionate new beginning. Um, this, is, this could also be a passionate relationship, creativity, career, inspiration, growth. So it could it could portray that maybe they were smitten with one another and they were talking about, you know, after everything is said and done, starting a relationship together. Or this could be them just speaking very passionately about, you know, having their careers go in a different direction. Where, where Kurt was already set, it, for him, it would be a passionate new beginning, you know, from Courtney. And for her, it would be also from Courtney with her previous band. So this way, it's like they both broke free and they can be creative. They can be, you know, passionate and just have growth and start new in a healthy way. Okay. Whether it was in a relationship or, you know, in their careers, in their life. Okay. Then we have the four of cups here. So this is just showing that they were very unhappy and discontent with the way things were going. And they really had the mindset that they wanted to heal. Okay. Okay with um, the star card here. So this is having hope, healing, having faith rewarded. So, you know, they both could have been like, yeah, you know what, this is the right decision. We need to do this. We need to break away. It's toxic, you know, so let's just, you know, kind of like stay in touch and we can be each other's support group while we both go through, you know, our separation from her. Okay. So I feel that was the mindset, perhaps the conversations, what they truly wanted. But then you have here two of swords. They're blocked. They're conflicted because she, meaning Courtney, um, was very like, no, if, if I'm not going to allow you to leave, you're not going to leave. That's it. So it's like, okay, they're just feeling blocked. What do I do? How do I go about this? Yes, the moon. Things happening behind the scenes, things hidden in the shadows, deception, lies, fear, insecurity. Okay. Heightened intuition. So they may have felt like, oh, fuck, I think we pissed her off. Now we got to watch our backs because we don't know what she's capable of, you know, when she gets pissed off. Knight of Pentacles. So this is um, slow and steady movement. So let's, you know, just slowly continue on this path. Let's see how it goes. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have um, Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, I don't know if I should have looked to see the sign of the lawyer. I don't know the sign of the lawyer, but this could be an earth sign person that was trying to assist them. It could, it could be the, the lawyer. It could be even Kristen's mother. I don't know the signs of those person, but some earth sign person is trying to help them stay grounded. Some female helping them to like slowly, but surely, 
move forward, somebody that they could trust and rely on, okay? Okay, and then we have the Three of Swords. So, heartbreak, separation, and ending. Okay, Eight of Wands. This is um, uh, communication, and this is also like something happening very, very quickly. It could even be like quick communication. All right, let me see one more, please. Let me see where this is going. See, like with the three of swords here, I'm feeling this is like, if it's like Kristen, Kurt, and then whoever this third party is that's trying to get involved, maybe the lawyer, Courtney heard about that shit real quick and was like, nope, put a stop to that little trio of what's trying to happen here. Okay, and then we have Nine of Cups which is um, wish come true. So, yeah, I'm feeling, she's like, no, that's not what I want. I caught wind of this, so I'm, I'm cutting that out. You're not getting what you want. Okay, let's see, was Kurt Cobain murdered? Queen of Cups. Okay, here we go. Water sign female. Pisser, Pisser, ha. Huh. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm feeling this is Courtney making her presence right here, nipping this all in the bud, saying, no, I don't think so. Yep. No, I don't think so. Tower. Unexpected catastrophe. <sighs> okay. Uh, also, divorce, endings, false truths collapsing. So this could be him even telling her, Three of Swords, she's finding out real quick, like, no, I don't want to be with you. I want this to end. Uh, so if it's not Courtney catching wind, like, no, I don't think so. This is her now getting wind of like, no, I'm filing for divorce. That's it. Um, because you have this person, like I said here, if it was his lawyer, that's helping him follow through. And then he has Kristen being like a supportive friend, trying to also, um, support him in his decision. And he's saying like, no, I'm done. I want to end this. And she finds out real quick that this is what he truly wants. See, Queen of Cups coming to her and then the shit hitting the fan. Okay, so it could go either that she's saying, no, you're not gonna get what you want. And then we have the tower moment here, all this crazy shit going on, or this is her catching wind that like, okay, he's officially gonna file for divorce. Okay, so what happens next, please? Was Kurt Cobain murdered? Okay, Two of Cups. This is um, friendships, unions, a bond, a connection. Could be true love. So if this, for example, because like I said, this is entertainment purposes only. We don't know the facts, okay? I'm not saying anything like that for legal purposes. Okay, so... If this is with the Two of Cups, her finding out that they're both leaving and she's catching wind of it, that it's like, oh, okay, you're trying to start a new relationship and stuff. And it's like, oh, okay, so now you're going to leave me. Not that he was leaving her for somebody else, but now she's thinking they're in a relationship because they were close friends and maybe they were smitten with one another, but like didn't act on it, you know, and crumbling down and she's thinking he's in a relationship with Kristen. Okay, so what happens next? Okay, so we have here the chariot. So 
this is success. This can also be the energy of Cancer, which is um, Courtney's sign. So this is success. Um, this could also represent a car, um, overcoming your obstacles. Okay, so if she's trying to see this as, okay, this is an obstacle, I need to, I need to handle this. So she may have jumped in her car and that's when she's driving off and trying to like go to that place where she met that guy and was like, oh yeah, I'm looking for somebody to kill my husband. Okay, four of wands, right? Yes, four of wands here. So this is happy home, um, surroundings, union, serious commitments. Okay, so if she is trying to overcome this from going away, because she wants to keep, you know, that status with the four of wands. She wants to keep that union and that commitment. She wants to prevent it from happening with somebody else. So she's trying to overcome this and hold on to that. Okay, so then we have the page of swords here. So with the Page of Swords, this is somebody that's um, being watchful, spying. So I feel now she's, okay, she's on watch and she's spying. She may even have other people spying to see what's going on with these two. Okay, then we have the Sun card. So this is a friendship to romance, a joyous union, happiness, success, prosperity, and good health. So she may have been spying or had somebody else spy and see that, you know, when they were talking or together, they were actually really happy. They got along. Everything was great. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles here, which with the Eight of Pentacles, this is working. This is recording music, um, writing dedicated to your work, but it could also be that they were very happy when they were working together. Maybe they were very good with collaborating. They had a lot of the same ideas in common and stuff like that. They just got along very well, and I feel she did not like that. What happens next? So what happens next? Six of Cups. Okay, so with the Six of Cups, this could be um, an old flame coming back, feeling nostalgic, past situations resurfacing. Okay, King of Wands here. So this is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or someone that is just um, very passionate, very creative, could be a little hot tempered. Now, Francis Bean, sometimes this is children, and Francis Bean is a Leo. This is the male card, but we could also say, okay, maybe she got along well with uh, Francis Bean as well. You know, maybe they were like, uh, they they looked like a happy family when the three of them were together. And that could be the three of swords here that she was trying to end. You know, again, this is just possibilities. Nothing is factual here, okay? So maybe they looked like a happy family when the three of them were together, um, Kristen, Kurt, and Francis. And she was like, oh, no, 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 I don't like that. Because if somebody was spying and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, they're together, you know, they work well together, they're happy. And then you got Francis there and they look like this nice little family, which, you know, you have here, the four of wands, you see the family there. There's many different ways that this can go. Okay, then we have the Ace of Swords here. So with the spying, it's like, okay, the truth comes out. She may feel, okay, uh, this is victory of one's um, actions, overcoming setbacks and obstacles, great force and love, the truth coming out. So it could be, oh, okay, she's thinking the truth is that they are in a relationship. It could just be, again, they're very close friends. Maybe they were smitten with one another, but there's... There's no proof that there was something going on. But in her mind, from the way it looks, from somebody spying and, you know, 
relaying the messages or even just from her seeing it, she may have processed it like, oh yeah, there's something going on and you want to divorce me. So you probably want to leave me for this person. Like, nah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to be in the tabloids where I look like an asshole. Not happening. Okay, then we have the Eight of Cups here. So with the Eight of Cups, this is moving on, letting go, changes, movement, and transition. Okay. Two of Wands. Moving towards your goal, knowing what you want. Partnerships, collaborations, and negotiations. Okay, so now it could be the truth comes out. Yeah, I want to move on. I'm ready to let go. I want to move towards my goals. Somewhere it could have been said that like, oh, you want to move towards that other relationship. You want to partner up with someone else. Okay. It could also be him just trying to negotiate terms with her before they finalize anything. Okay. But with the high priestess here, more needs to happen. There's, there's still things that have not been revealed. There's still thing, things that are unknown. Okay. Okay, so what happens next? Okay, so then we have the Empress. So this is growth, abundance. It could be an affair, um, nurturing happy relationships. Um, so, okay, she may feel that she's not sure. It's still unknown if there's something going on between them. Okay. Knight of Wands. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands here, this is, um, again, it could be change of residence, fast action, someone that's kind of in and out of your life. So they did move around a lot due to being in the bands. So it could be that she felt like if she was on the road or something was going on and, you know, like in and out of the picture. What happens next? could also be when she was, I believe it was in California. Was she in California? I forgot where she was. Where Courtney was in like California, I think it was, and Kurt was still in uh, their home in Washington. Okay, so yeah, five of wands, conflict, fighting. So she may have like moved over there and now that's where they started fighting and there's conflict. Somebody is evaluating the situation, what they're going to do. King of Swords, air sign. Okay, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Kristen was Gemini. So it could be that there's a lot of fighting going on, petty arguments um, with, you know, consideration of this possible trio between her, Courtney, and Kurt. Um, it could also be if this is somebody else, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, that she's getting involved with, with the five of wands. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed with this. Um, this is also feeling competition from someone. So it could be, even though it's a male, you know, it's still a uh, air energy. So she could be feeling that there's competition while she's away. Okay. Like on the road with Kristen. Okay, and then we have the death card. So we know what that means. Yeah, six of swords going towards a better situation. Let me just move this up because I don't wanna to have to go somewhere else here. Okay, so this could be, okay, we have the death card here because she wants to go towards a better situation. She wants it to end. Ten of Swords. Mental anguish, ruins plans, loss. Um, just completely devastated and in pain. Okay, then we have the King of Pentacles. So this is an earth sign person. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So this is also someone um, that's trustworthy and reliable. So again, I don't know who this is in this situation. This could be the person that she hired to handle this situation, to put an end to things while she was away. 
Okay, so she's California, that's by water. This is going someplace towards water. Okay, then with the nine of wands here, this is um, just feeling like exhausted and drained and at your wits end. Ace of Cups. And Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is keeping what belongs to you, um, not wanting to give up control and saving your resources. So I feel she was very hurt with the thought that there was something going on with him and somebody else. And she was like, no, I'm not giving up control and I'm not giving up any money. I'm keeping what belongs to me. And that's that. So I'm putting an end to this and that's that. So I'm actually feeling that this, this person may be who assisted. If we're going to go with the theory that he was murdered. This may be the person that assisted. So it's somebody that um, is an earth sign, um, very grounded, very stable. So it's it's somebody that, um, where do I have it here? It's somebody that she could rely on. Because that came up before. I can't see the, where the card is now. Somebody that's reliable and trustworthy. Is this in here? Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. This is... Um... No, I was looking for the... I'm sorry. Knight of Pentacles. This is King of Pentacles. Hi, yi, yi. Sorry, guys. My earth sign person. This is a business person. Somebody professional. Has money. Um, very grounded. So I feel this is somebody that was in that position where they can help her. Okay, now I know they said, like, uh, she had the cops on her payroll because they, you know, like, didn't investigate things the way they were supposed to. They, like, completely botched everything up. So this could be that person that she had behind the scenes that was helping out. Oh, yeah, and she dished out a lot of money. A lot of money. So she can keep her happy, happy and content life the way she wanted it. Yeah, and then this is the Seven of Wands, somebody being very defensive. Then we have the Three of Wands here. Um, Long-term success, ongoing progress, um, just continuing to work on projects ship you like your ship coming in like now I, I have all the royalties I have this I have control of everything so now my ship has come in and it's all mine the fool taking a leap of faith childlike nature uh, unexpected opportunity new beginnings so it's kind of like well I see the opportunity so I seized it so that this way you know, fuck it, leap of faith, take a chance, and then I can have my new beginning. Three of Cups, I'm seeing celebration here. Abundance. Knight of Cups. Somebody approaching with an invitation. Um, high level of excitement. It could even be um, someone romantic that she was involved with. Uh, the Hanging Man. This is putting it on hold. Um, like in limbo, putting things on pause. And I feel it's like, no, I can't start dating anybody right now. Like, I have to look like I'm grieving. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so I have to be in reflection mode. I have to consider my image. Um... People are watching me, you know, so I, I have to portray that that sad widow scene. Otherwise, maybe who knows, maybe with a will he had. I, I don't know if he had a will. Um, I didn't look too much into that. This was just more to see, like, was he murdered? Um, she gets all the money then. If, she, if it stays on the up and up that she's like, boo hoo, she gets all the money. And then we have here the devil. This is... Um, 
overindulgence, control, self-destructive behavior, manipulative, somebody that's very sexual, obsessive, um, just all, all that. Okay, and then just trying to balance everything after that with the two of pentacles here. Okay, page of wands. So then we have communication coming in. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so we have communication coming in. Page of cups next to that. Um, this is like love communication coming in. So I feel she's got like where it was here before somebody is coming forward. Um, maybe she promised, or she may have manipulated somebody. I'm actually getting the energy. You may, she may have manipulated somebody like with sex and was like, Oh yeah, you know, once he's gone, like we can be together, you know, even though she may have hired somebody else to do it. If she had somebody involved besides that person then it's like okay she may have manipulated them into thinking that they'll have a relationship with her after everything blows over and that that makes sense with the devil card here she may have even like you know slept with them a little bit you know enticed them was controlling manipulative very sexual uh doing drugs together like i'm seeing all of this and um and like enslaving them in a way like toxic toxic but like um what's the right word um where it's like oh yeah i'll lure you in i'll seduce you and this this and that and then you'll do whatever i want you know then we have the eight of swords here so this is um feeling stuck defamation of character for sure where a lot of people were like girl you did it what happened six of wands uh being recognized by others you know, um, this is like triumph, great news, but it could just be people because it's next to the eight of wands, people saying like, yeah, no, you did it, you know, with the eight of swords here, defamation of character, like, no, we see you did it. We're, we're, you know, recognizing the evidence that's here that's lacking in your behavior and this and that, and it really looks like you did it. Again, entertainment purposes only, not saying she did it, okay? Okay, then we have the Queen of Wands here, fire sign person. Again, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be any of those. This could also be Francis. So it could be um, she's being recognized now for like, okay, I have to take care of Francis. Four of Swords. Now this is somebody just going into exile, um, taking a bit of a break, um, just some solitude and rest after the whole situation. It could also be her daughter may have uh, been sent away for a little bit after all of this. I did not look into that, so I don't have any facts on that. But feel free to look it up yourself and put it down in the description box. Okay, so you take a little break, and then we have the lovers here. So this is Gemini energy as well. So at this time, Kurt had passed, but Kristen didn't pass away until two months later. So we have the Gemini energy here and making a choice. Or this could be her, you know, maybe going away with that person that uh, it looked like she was seducing. So now they're going, to, she's going into exile maybe with this person that uh, she promised something. There's only three cards left, so. <laughs> okay. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is now somebody that is single and happy in their surroundings. Very content. Okay, then we have Knight of Swords here. So this could be um, aggressive retaliation. Now, this is an air sign or air energy. So this could be regressive retali aggressive retaliation towards the Gemini. Okay. And then we have here the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is restructuring your life, things coming to fruition. Okay. So it could be, all right, she took care of both of them and then she's just focusing with the last card here. 
like bringing things to fruition, okay? She handled her, she handled him. Now she's focusing on her fame and being single and comfortable in her surroundings and just doing her thing. Which, if you look at the way things kind of happens, it could be portrayed that way, okay? So, again, entertainment purposes only. You can form your own thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the situation, um, but that's all I have for this reading um, if Kurt Cobain and Kristen Pfaff were murdered. Okay, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. If you have any other um, celebrities that you would like me to do a reading for, please just put it in the description box below and we can get into it. All right, peace and love. Take care.